seeing what happens with this development. I think there's be some kind of guarantee from Aberdeen, who I don't believe for one minute will take this project on in the longer term anyway, because it's too small for them. I think they'll hand it over to another developer and they'll take it on on their behalf or whatever. That's my opinion. But there needs to be some kind of guarantee that the businesses on there and the jobs, the local people of this town, are protected. Because if we lose them, then they're gone for good. And particularly like C&G, for example, you know, there's some skills in there which can't be replaced very easily. So we need to protect the businesses, enhance it, great, but protect them. But also, you know, if we're going to bring more businesses in, then fantastic. Of course, that's going to bring more people into the town. We need to make sure the infrastructure is sorted out. We keep talking about the train line, but the train line in its current guise, or potential current guise, will have very little impact on sorting out the commuter problems. What we don't know is the longer term is how COVID is going to affect people's commutes to work. So that's the bigger question, which we can't answer at the moment. But I'd like to see some kind of guarantee where the businesses are protected that are there now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Paddy. Paddy. 